This next set of felt um, set is the Three Little Pigs. And I bought these from a, a company called Sisters in Stitches, but it was years ago, and I don't even know if they're around anymore. However, you can make these out of felt. So it's really just as simple as that. But these are these are beautiful. They're they're very nice. So here's the here's the house. And as you tell the story, you know, you're talking about, well, here's here's the straw house. And here is the house made out of sticks. You can see right there that they used some fabric paint. See that? And the pigs match their houses, so that's pretty easy. And then here is the wolf. So the wolf comes along and he huffs and he puffs and he blows the house down. <laughs> Okay, and you all know the story, so you can you can imagine telling it to your students using these wonderful felt materials. Um, I believe that having a good selection of felt materials is really helpful to teach children about literacy because they can reenact the story over and over again using the materials. And if you just keep them, you know, in these bags where they're nicely labeled everything exactly in the bag and you can put it on your shelf. I wouldn't put more than one story at a time so if I tell a story then I would keep this bag out and I would keep it in the basket next to the felt board and then I would replace it with a different story or a different concept. So like here I have dinosaurs. Here is another mitten felt set. I have, I have purchased two of them and it was again by Sisters in Stitches. So this set includes felt pieces for two versions, versions of this traditional story, the mitten by Jan Brett and the mitten by Alvin Trisselt. So you can do a compare and contrast and so you've got you've got the Jan Brett and then the Alvin Trisselt and you can you know, have them out showing the differences between the stories, which is really fun, especially for your kindergartners. So I'm just gonna show you what I have. I have animals. This isn't with a story necessarily. I have the alphabet. So you can do your letter sound of the week and if you can find felt pieces that go along with that, the more the better. Here is um, I think this is Little Red Hen. So you can tell this story. Yep, it's the Little Red Hen. So you can teach about that story. Um, this is a bunch of things that we've made over the years. So they've gone with various learning activities. And again, it's pretty easy to make things. So these are just ladybugs. Just used a Sharpie and some, some red felt. And um, you can make them. These are leaves. We've got bears. We've got ducks. All kinds of fun things. Um, here is people. So you could just put this out and have children do dress up clothes. It's, it's kind of like paper dolls dress up, but it's with felt dolls, felt people. This is the Three Billy Goats Gruff felt set. Sisters in Stitches again, they do such really wonderful work. So the Three Billy Goats Gruff is a really fun one, obviously, because you're, you know, here's the troll. He looks funny. And you've got your three different billy goats. So you can tell that story and let's see what else is in here. Yeah, here is the, so let's see, I've got my, I'll take these off. Sorry, I'm trying to one hand this right now. Okay, so here is the grass 
and the river and the bridge. So you've got your billy goats trip trapping over the bridge and you've got your troll underneath the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge? It is I, the largest billy goat gruff. So you can tell your story. You can do it with a book or you can just tell it without a book. That's called oral storytelling, which children really love. And then again, you put it in your basket and then the children have access to it and they can retell the story.